In my last video, I showed cutting this stand to reduce weight. This video is a lone wolf tree stand modification versus the seat of a lone wolf hand climber to be used as a platform for saddle hunting. The overall length of the stand originally was about 29 and 3 quarter inches long. I cut off roughly close to 10 inches, leaving me with about 20 inches to here for the platform. For this next step, I'm going to tie on a piece of cordage. I'm just going to use a bowling knot. It gives me a little bit of versatility in being able to always, you know, untie this easily if I need to. Next, I'm going to drill a hole on the other side right here. Next, I got a bolt, large washer, and a nut. The nut on the other side has a rubber washer so that it won't come off easily. Okay, there's my platform with the bow holder. Here is a hand climber plat, you know, the seat from a hand climber. A lot of people use that. There's an uncomfortable little ridge in there for standing, but aside from that, it's a decent option. As you can see, not as much foot room. This one's a lot more wobbly and I can't, I'm holding the tree, I can't rotate nearly as easily. Again, see how wobbly this is? Let me get down on the other one. See, it's really solid as it is. Let me stand on the side. See, that's not even really there. It's tipping up a little bit right there. Let's try it on this one. Whoa, yeah, that's really tippy on, on that. So let me just show you why I tied the cordage on. So the cordage is on this corner. Now, as far as I, well, I have been climbing with a lone wolf climber for 15 years, and I've never had my feet ever slip out and I will show you in a minute why there's just really no way for your feet to come out to slip out here but still um, I actually was thinking of tying a rope to the saddle for when I need to get around a tree branch which I'll show you how to do in a minute and what I do for balancing purposes, I'm going to feed this through the center of the platform. So now the rope is coming up in the middle and this bar here keeps it out away for balancing for when I take the platform off the tree. And I'm just going to tie this into carabiner. So now I have, if, if for any reason um, my feet were to lose the platform, it's not going all the way to the ground. Let's say I just climbed up to, this is a tree branch. Um, let's say the tree branch is here because I don't want to be totally out of the frame so you can't see this. Let's say the tree branch is here. Now I use, I like to use these because um, I can swap them around the tree. So what I would normally do is take, I have a, southern, a second tether in here. I would attach that above the tree branch Take the bottom one off and then go above it. So let's say I need to get around this branch here. I like to be, you know, set this so where I'm in a little bit of a sitting position. 
like this. I'm going to come off the platform, bring it up here, pop it off, go above the branch, put it back on. Step on it and keep climbing. For when I come back down to that branch, I like to gauge my height and get it to where I can kind of sit down like this. There we go. Pop this off. Go under the tree branch. Hop back on. Keep climbing my way down and then swap my uh, lineman or my tether when I get to it with my other one so I always have one attached to the tree at all times and keep climbing down. All right, now I want to get a close up of the other use for this. Let's say I've just reached my climbing height. See, there's a little bit of wiggle if you really are pushing on the sides. So I'm going to unhook from my um, saddle, put this around the tree, underneath my washer here, and I'm gonna wrap it around a few times. Like that. And when I'm ready to go, unwrap, hook back into my saddle, pass it actually under the middle bar here, hook it back into my saddle and go. All right, I actually had to run and get my son. So I'm at a different tree now because of the lighting. And I want to show you a couple other advantages to this platform as opposed to using the seat from a lone wolf hand climber. So a lot of saddle hunters, you know, it's uncomfortable to stand with your feet flat on the platform for a long period of time. So it's actually more comfortable to have an angle. Some people even angle their platform down if they can, but with having this crossbar on uh, this, this lone wolf, I can actually get that angle and be very relaxed so my, my feet have that comfortable angle and then when I want to uh, take a shot it's a matter of stand up now I've got the stability of a flat platform not a slanted platform I have the ability to move all around get the shot that I need one of the challenges I had with the small platform is when you have to get a shot on the weak side turning around to get this angle was really tough now having the the rope man one, I can just move that down out of the way, get my shot over here nice and nice and flat, easy. It's, a, it's just so much more comfortable shooting like this. I'm not depending on or leaning on this while shooting so that you don't have to practice as much from the, uh, you know, the saddle as well because you're, you're able to stand flat and get the flat standing shot that you're used to. You're not like leaning out and trying to get used to shooting like that. So again, with this climber uh, seat, when you step on it, it twists the uh, straps as well in position, puts a lot more torque on them. I'd say the only real advantage to using a seat as opposed to this would be you, you gain a few pounds of weight. So my platform weighs eight pounds, just over eight pounds and this seat weighs just over four pounds. So you've got about a four pound difference. I will trade that four pounds in order to have all of the comfort and stability that this provides, even the comfort sitting, being able to angle my feet like that. So I will not, I, I would not pick that over this now that I have this. I'm in the process of editing the video and I wanted to highlight the, the one of the other challenges or drawbacks with this is you're actually gonna to need to strap your feet to the platform. You can't really fit them under here like you can on the climber base, putting your feet through there, as I showed very securely. You're gonna to need to strap your feet to this, which means you're not gonna be able to really move your feet around real well in the climbing process. With this, 
you could always pop one foot out for balance or whatever. So the climbing process is going to be, you'll be a lot more agile and more secure with this, I think, overall. Um, so that would be another drawback. You're going to need extra straps to strap your feet in, like bungee cords or whatever guys are doing. You know, probably go over your feet and around the back of your feet. So you might need two types of straps. All right, still editing yet another point of when I jumped off of my stand to go around the tree branch, I was using this as an example. Um, you couldn't actually do that very easily with some ways of people tying their feet into this. Um, you can, it's just, um, when, whereas mine, I just, it's a matter of slipping your feet out of the sides and going. This one, you'd have to, you know, pop them out of the straps, make sure you're not going to drop the straps to the ground, depending on how they're secured. If it's just a bungee cord, you know, it could pop, you know, the hook can pop off and you could lose the whole thing. So that would just be another advantage to the platform over this. All right, lastly, I want to talk about my bow holder. I actually am using this bow holder. It's made for a summit tree stand. And um, I just attach it to the square tube here. I've got my bow in it. I always even before this setup hunted with my bow on that side of the stand now with you know this setup my my hand that i hold the bow with is my left hand so it's on that side so it's a matter of picking it up and shooting but in in most scenarios i'll probably get up and spin around maybe even slide this down in the process to give myself a little extra room and i always pick it up by the cam i just grab it by the cam slide my hand in and then I get ready to shoot. I do that, I hunt with it on this side because I always hunt with my quiver on the bow and my arrows kind of need to be on the outside edge of the stand. So that's basically my bow holder for this setup. All right, to finish up, I want to just show you the measurements of this platform versus the seat platform. And I'll show you how I'm going to be attaching this to my backpack for transporting it in and out of the woods. All right, so the platform I'm using is about 20 well it's about 22 inches to the tip here but useful about 20 inches by about 19 and three quarter inches just about so 20 by 19 and a half let's say the platform here is 13 and a half by 16. so that that's a huge difference there 13 and a half versus 20 just gives you so much more uh, room to maneuver i will take that room over the weights savings any day of the week and just this is a lot more stable on the tree so for attaching this to my backpack i'm going to come through here and i use this bar on the top of the backpack that sort of just it rests on the back there this is going to come around the back of the backpack i'm going to go through the this here come up around a little tab I made and then tie off a half hitch here to help keep it in and then it'll just go on my back like this and that's how I will transport the stand in and out doesn't make any clanking noise or anything All right, let's head back inside for a final synopsis and a close of this video. All right, as I bring this to a close, I just want to mention, I am actually giving away a Miracle X10 Olympic style recurve bow today. It's going to be before this, this video airs, but um, check out the giveaways page of my website. I'm giving away a bunch of other stuff this year, like a gray fox deer cart, ultimate predator stalker decoy, white tail deer, dragon X8 pro compound bow package. So make sure you check out that page on my website. So I just want to um, make a final synopsis of especially the um, Lone Wolf platform modification versus the, the seat part of a Lone Wolf climber. Um, this one's much more stable as you could see on the tree. A lot of wobble on this one. Also, when you stand on it, it puts a lot of torque and twist on the cables. And uh, you absolutely definitely need to have something to brace around here to help with the stability of it look at the difference in the uh, teeth here on this one much deeper and longer than that of the seat for the hand climber let me get adjust my grip here so you can see the difference here in the two 
This one's just a lot more, a lot more stable. Um, you are going to gain a couple pounds with this, but the overall comfort in the sit and in the shooting process, I will take the four pounds gladly. Also, as you can see, I can go around a tree branch with this. I don't need uh, sticks if there's a tree branch on the tree. Um, it is doable. I'll put a link in the description for the bow hook, and I will point out here again, the rubber piece, it works best if it's on the side where you tighten it up. I first installed it on the other side and I couldn't get it to grip tight enough to bite in and hold the bow. So you got to put it on that side just as a side note. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll stay tuned for all of my videos coming up. Uh, if you ever want to get one of these t-shirts I designed, I'll put a link for my uh, apparel page in the description section of this video. Until next time, take care and God bless you. Be safe out there.